Ever wondered how plants eat and drink? Well, it starts underground with the roots. Just like superheroes, roots have their own special powers. They act like straws, sipping up water and nutrients from the soil. Imagine a plant sipping a giant milkshake, but instead of chocolate or vanilla, it's a mix of water and nutrients. Yum! But that's not all. Roots also provide support, anchoring the plant to the ground. They're like a plant's personal bodyguard, keeping it safe and steady. Picture a tree in a storm. It's the roots that hold it firm and stop it from toppling over. So roots are doing a lot of hard work, all out of sight beneath the earth. They are the plant's secret underground superheroes, slurping up water and nutrients and helping the plant stand tall. Without the roots, our green friends wouldn't be able to survive. So, here's to the roots, the unsung heroes of the plant world. Once the roots have done their job, it's time for the stem to step in. Picture the stem as a bustling highway, teeming with trucks loaded with water and nutrients. These trucks, invisible to our eyes, are constantly on the move, carrying their precious cargo from the roots to the rest of the plant. But the stem isn't just a transportation hub, it's also the plant's sturdy backbone. It stands tall and strong, holding up the leaves, flowers and fruits. Without the stem, plants would be just a flat pancake on the ground. Think about it, the stem has a tough job. It's got to be a highway and a support beam all at once. And it does this job perfectly, ensuring that the plant gets everything it needs to grow and flourish. So the stem is like the plant's very own highway, carrying goodies from the roots to the rest of the team. Next up, we have the leaves, the plant's very own sun catchers. These remarkable parts of the plant have a crucial job, and that is photosynthesis. What a big word, right? It's actually quite simple. Photosynthesis is like a magic trick that plants perform every day. They take in sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide, and voila. They create their food. Now imagine the leaves as tiny green solar panels soaking up the sun. That sunlight is then used to kickstart this whole process. The water is taken from the roots and the carbon dioxide from the air around us. Together, these ingredients create a sweet food for the plant, something we call glucose. Remember, without these sun-catching leaves, our green friends wouldn't be able to make their own food. They truly are nature's little solar-powered factories. So the leaves are like the plant's solar panels, capturing sunlight and turning it into food. Now let's move on to the flowers, the showstoppers of the plant world. Flowers are the plant's way of saying, hey, look at me. Their bright colors and sweet nectar are like a dinner bell for pollinators such as bees and butterflies. These visitors are important because they help flowers do something really special. Reproduce. You see, inside every flower are tiny parts that make seeds. These seeds are the beginning of new plants. But for a seed to be created, pollen from one flower needs to reach another. And that's where our buzzing and fluttering friends come in. As they move from flower to flower, sipping on nectar, they also carry pollen on their bodies. This pollen transfer from one flower to another is called pollination. So, you see, flowers have an incredibly important role. They're not just there for their good looks. They're the plant's way of ensuring its survival. So, flowers aren't just pretty faces. They're also the plant's way of making more plants. Finally, we have the fruits, the plant's final product. These are more than just tasty treats for us. For a plant, fruits play an essential role in its life cycle. They are like the plant's very own treasure chests, safeguarding their precious seeds. These seeds are the plant's future generation, the little plantlets waiting to spring to life. But these fruits aren't just security guards, oh no, they're also the plant's travel agents. Fruits help disperse or spread these seeds far and wide. Some fruits are carried away by the wind, while others hitch a ride on animals. Some even float on water to reach new lands. And when these seeds finally find the right spot, they grow into new plants. So every time you bite into an apple or a juicy orange, remember, you're actually enjoying a part of a plant's grand life cycle. So fruits are like the plant's treasure chests, protecting precious seeds and helping them travel to new places. Wow, we've learned a lot about how plants eat, drink and grow. We've journeyed from the underground heroes, the roots, which are like straws slurping up water and nutrients from the soil. Then, we met the middleman, the stem, transporting those goodies to the rest of the plant. We also discovered the sun catchers, the leaves, where all the magic happens. 
They use sunlight, water and carbon dioxide to whip up a delicious plant food in an amazing process called photosynthesis. And who can forget the showstoppers, the flowers, with their vibrant colours and sweet fragrances, attracting pollinators to help them make seeds. Finally, we encountered the final product, the fruits, which protect those seeds and help them travel to become new plants. So next time you see a plant, remember it's not just standing there, it's busy eating, drinking, growing and making more plants.